Mmm, don't like that. I can't remember if the face was just a big thing that kind of, like, appears, or if it was, like, a picture on a wall? Oh, it's a picture on a wall! What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red. So last episode, I asked you guys for recommendations on workshop levels that I might have missed, because there's definitely a lot of them, and you guys have managed to find some really weird stuff. So I get the feeling we're in for a very interesting episode today. Our first level for today is called Be a Bug, and as you can probably tell from the awkward crotch high view that we're starting things off with, we are in fact already a bug. What you doing there, bud? Does it involve me? I honestly can't tell. It looks like he's trying to, like, light a match? Or jack off a ghost? <laughs> Probably doesn't concern me. I'm just gonna go about my regular bug's life, wondering at how big the people in these levels are getting. Uh, I can see the underside of your naked butts. Do you have any idea what you've gotten yourself into today? I mean, clearly you woke up this morning and thought that wearing this suit was a good idea. But, you know, maybe you could use good decision making from here on out. I'd really appreciate if you prevented this guy from going jogging. The last thing that we need right now is some kind of supersonic pirate cheek clap. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What the? This is why you don't cut your own hair during quarantine. <laughs> to say he missed a spot would be an understatement. I seriously can't get over the scale of these enemies now. How am I supposed to fight this? I toyed around in the level editor a little bit and I realized that you can make people four times bigger now, but then you can make the four times bigger people four times bigger again. So I don't know if these guys are four times bigger or eight times bigger or 16 times bigger, but they're definitely doing a great job pounding each other's titties flat. Do you want concave nips? Because that's how you get concave nips. If there are any other bugs in there, now would be the time to come out. <gasps> I'm getting ready to start World War III out here and I can't imagine it's gonna be very easy on my part. There's no way they're gonna fight one another. They're just gonna try to stop me, so I might as well go for their weak, exposed bits. Oh, 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 what the? Oh, that's a problem. That's a big problem. <laughs> Tasers don't seem to matter all that much. Oh, I get two little taser balls. So if I tase him in his balls, oh, oh, okay, we give him a bit of a dead leg as well? I don't, hmm. That does not seem like non-lethal force. <laughs> this is not a taser, this this is an electric cannon. Oh crap, they are just so big. It's like Attack on Titan. That would be an amazing level. Someone needs to make an Attack on Titan level. I think I saw uh, oh, a gun. Yeah, here we go. Maybe we could just kind of kneecap people. Yeah, just sit down or fall over. Sit down is really just a, a turn of phrase. I do not have enough bullets for this guy's knee. You've got to be kidding me. I've gone through a couple of guns. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to get a gun as a bug? This isn't working. This is not working. <laughs> I could take that guy out with a simple breeze, but I just, I can't do anything against him. It's really difficult to find weapons underneath these gigantic corpses. <laughs> okay, here we go. Microphone. Yeah, I'm sure this'll do a whole lot of work. Come on, ah! I'm really curious what kind of bug I am. Like, I assumed I was an ant, but I don't think there are any ants that have the tenacity to wail on a human knee with a guitar for 15 minutes. Either way, we finally got rid of him, and these guys are just slugging it out to the bone. I don't really want to interrupt, to be perfectly honest. I just kind of want to let them do their thing. They're hitting each other with tiny little weapons, too. Like, all, every weapon in here is the same size, so they pick up the same stuff that I pick up. You guys might want to consider taking one big step back before you continue wailing on one another. Like, I'm just saying, one of them's going to end up pregnant. They're deep inside each other. They've been at this for quite a while. I, there's gotta be something more useful around here than a guitar. Nope, nope, the guitar was pretty effective. What kind of haunted exploding guitar was that? Oh crap, I pissed them off. No, 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 I want my guitar back. No shotgun will do. I like curled it into them. Holy crap, okay, well, there we go. That's a two for one. Oh, here, let me just get a, a little bit off the top there we go did i get it i think i think I, no didn't get it missed it 
Hold on. Wow, it's really on there, isn't it? Yeah, you know what? You might just need to wait for a barber. I I'm not exactly qualified for this stuff. <gasps> what an absurd level. We need more levels with gigantic enemies. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> this level's called SCP-087-B, which I might be able to see right here. Yeah, 087-B. And this is one of the few SCPs that I actually know about. So 087-A is a stairwell. It's on a college campus, and it seems to be bottomless. They keep sending D-class personnel in with video and camera equipment and stuff like that, and they can't find the bottom, but they have found that the deeper you go, the louder you can hear the cries of a child begging for help. And eventually, if you go far enough, you encounter 087B, which is a giant pissed off face that makes people disappear. <laughs> and considering this is called 087B, I am going to regret this. Oh, I really don't like that at all. There's the stairs. I don't know if we're gonna hear any crying. I hope not. There's no way this is bottomless. There aren't supposed to be stairs that go up though. Should only go down. Oh, this is weird. Maybe these are the stairs? Oh, it's getting darker as well. I don't like this even a little bit. I can't see my nose in front of my face. <gasps> Could I just jump to my death? Oh, they won't even let me jump to my death. Come on. <gasps> Do me a favor. Oh, it's going to be like right there, right? I, it's just going to be one of those times where I take a step forward and it's going <laughs> to appear in the light right up in front front of me. Just the walls are making me pee a little bit. Hello? 087B? Where are you? Did I just trip over something? Oh, what the shit? What? Oh, I don't like that. No, no, I don't like that at all. Why can people make such good stuff in this game all of a sudden? People are always telling me that I'm actually D-class personnel and not an SCP, and for once, I'm actually believing you. I definitely feel like D-class personnel and not an SCP. <gasps> oh my god, this could go on forever. I, I have no idea how long the level actually is. Oh, it widens here. Why does it widen here? Oh, wasn't it? Mmm, don't like that. I can't remember if the face was just a big thing that kind of, like, appears, or if it was, like, a picture on a wall? Oh, it's a picture on a wall! Oh, no, 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 okay. Wah, wah. Okay, I think I escaped it, right? There's no way that it's down here with me still, right? Why is it so freaking dark? Can I, can I just kind of, I can't. I can't throw, oh, I can't throw, ooh. That's interesting. I could do, oh, I like that. Yeah, that works perfectly. Until I throw this thing too far and then I can't go get it and I'm completely boned. Sorry. So sorry. You okay? I don't think I need to be afraid of them. That was a lot squishier than I had expected. What is this lantern made out of kryptonite? I'm not going to peek my audio. I'm not going to peek my audio. I'm going to remain cool and calm and collected. And I'm going to make sure that I do not peek my audio by making sure that I cannot possibly get scared by kind of cheatsy doodling my way through this. <laughs> it's only a mild cheatsy doodle, okay? Shut up. I, I, I know this might kind of ruin the effect, but whatever. I didn't sign up for this. Please don't go so far. <laughs> don't like that at all. Like, for all I know, I'm twisting around on top of myself. Like, this could actually be infinite if it just has me going around in circles. I have no idea. Like, it's impossible to keep track of anything down here. It wouldn't really make all that much sense because I'm constantly going down, but at the same time, we found that you can switch around the orientation of levels in this game now. So I really don't know. Is there anybody else around? Don't like that sound. Hi! I mean, 
we 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 could just be friends. You cool? He's just he's kind of cool. Here, you you hold this. Okay. Oh. There was another one. That that might have been a trap. Oh, don't tell me that was the end right there. I don't want to go down through this all again to see the, oh frig, why do I do these things? Speed running this feels like a gigantic mistake. This is so much worse when you're running. I've already ran into one spook. I don't expect more. Okay, so there's a trap, right? That there's a trap like there-ish. Not interested. I'm, I'm gonna go over this way instead. So this should be all new stuff. Yeah, if, if we hear trap noises, then just avoid. Oh, what the? Oh, no. No. Really? Oh, crap. I'm really happy I did not throw my <laughs> my lantern. I was going to throw it forward to see what's going on, but I definitely need this. Don't spook on me. Please. Please don't spook on me. I should have brought more than one lantern. I could have. I thought about it <laughs> because there's like four of them up there. Hi. Oh, you're a sad one. Uh, I'm probably fine over here though, right? If I just... Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go this way. You just continue hanging out over there. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna bring more than one lantern because I could throw one and then pick up another one and throw one, pick up another one. But it would just take too long to get down here. Oh, crap. Uh... I'm guessing... Yep. Gotta go down there. Did they ever find a bottom to SCP whatever it is? Hello? No spookums? Oh, wait, I, oh, there's a spookums. There you are. That's a cool effect. Okay, this, there's gotta be an end to this. Oh. Oh, what are you? Hello, you're, you're an interesting fellow. I'm trying to figure out what it is I'm looking at right now. It kind of looks like he's a doll. He's like stitched up, it's like a sock monkey, except dumber. <laughs> okay, uh. You got any more? No. Easy enough, I suppose. I heard some traps, so I don't really want to roam around, but I guess I don't have a choice. What, uh... Oh, you're still over there. What am I supposed to do now? There's... I can go back the way I came, but that's it. There's no way that I passed... Oh, maybe this is open now. I see. Come on, man. This has got to be... An ending soon. Seeing that split in the bricks makes me think that something's gonna happen behind me. Oh, yep, something happened behind me. Nope, screw this, screw, screw this. No, no, nope. mm, don't like that. Don't like that. That's a lot of crumpled bodies. Okay, maybe this is a running situation. Mm, yep, I was wondering why it's at 111 people dead. Now I know. Now I know. Uh, okay. Hello? Nobody else here? I got cages. I'm gonna go down this way. I don't really want to be in the open alleyway. Oh my god, I'm sweating buckets. My mouse is going to be ruined. I just want to finish this so badly. I want it to be over right now. Doing my best to follow my maze technique, where as long as I keep my left hand on the wall, I can't get lost. I'm just gonna keep taking lefts, and then eventually I gotta get out of here. That's what this is right now. It, it's just a maze. And I keep finding more and more dead ends, but I'm not lost. Oh, okay. Now what? Now who wants some, huh? Come on, sock monkey, dance. I think that opened a door. Good, 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 great. Maybe? Did it change the maze? Still gonna run on the left option. I don't know why I didn't choose right. Right is always right. That's what I always say. This time, I decided, screw it. <laughs> Come on. Where is the end? <gasps> there can't be much more. How much space do people have to make levels with in this game? <gasps> Feels like I've been walking for a hundred years. <gasps> Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I do not have much more liquid in my body to sweat out. Uh, oh, it's an open cage. Great, great. Wait, isn't that... Oh, no, this isn't where I started. Okay, this is different. 
Oh, why is it so dark? Oh. Is that... I thought that was a button. Oh, I can't see get anything. Is there anything in there? Oh, good. More crumpled bodies. This is the way I came down. This is the beginning. Oh, come on! Oh, I think this is new. Yeah, we didn't see this. Am I supposed to just hardcore... Oh, please don't die. If I jump off something, I am going to lose my mind. Okay, that's a good sound. I should be able to get it back easily enough. That might have lowered the gate that we found earlier. Hopefully it didn't let something out. That's the one thing that I don't want right now. It should be right here. Right? Is this it? I just want to see a big blue exit on... Come on! Come on! Come on! If there's something down here to fight me, then just fight me, okay? If you're gonna eat me, then eat me. I don't even care anymore. Just make something happen. It can't be endless, right? It can't possibly be endless. Who? Who? Okay. That, that wasn't endless. Just endlessly annoying. Oh. We're going back up now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I did it. I... I did it? I think I did it. Is this it? Did I... I did it! <laughs> okay! Well, I could use a change of shirts and maybe underwear. Our next level is called Kimbergarben, where fully grown adults go to spend the day learning about colors and shapes and how to get along with one another and complex mathematical equations, apparently. I feel so sorry for you guys. Oh my god, I hadn't realized that they're actually itsy bitsy. Look at you! That's amazing! We've seen it the other way around plenty. We've had lots of giant enemies, but we've never had a bunch of tiny enemies. I mean, students, right? Students, I'm here to educate. Oh, it must have been awkward when you two left the house and realized you were wearing the same thing this morning. You two may be fashion failures, but your hot voxel collage is really coming along, so you keep that up. Good job. You see, I can be an educator. Groundskeeper Smilly. You just keep mopping up that spilled beer. I'm gonna go see what that noise is. Hearing a lot of weird sounds coming from over here? No? Just standing around waiting to play horse? Okay then. <laughs> We've got some music class, some poker for guns and gold. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. Bullying will result in death. Oh, okay. So am I supposed to kick you in the back of your tiny head right now? I'll get to that. I, I, I'm working on it. Hold on a second. First, I gotta see what the special kid is up to. Oh, I'll give you two guesses to who that might be or not. Kind of figured you would be Fluffles. Work, 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 work. <gasps> okay then. I think we're just gonna leave him to his raw meat. Maybe we can see what kind of fighting arena we have in the bathroom? <laughs> you look like a little bit too old to be one of the students here. I'm, I'm just saying your height isn't quite up to par. What do we have here? No smoking, no drinking, no throwing darts? Makes sense, I suppose. No naked guy here. Oh yeah, fat chance. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> this is Always one Fluffles dancing in a bathroom somewhere. You two are by far my best behaved students and things are about to go down in the school. I hope you two could just stay back here, keep doing your work and ignore the psychedelic techno plant behind you. What is going on with this thing? <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's time to kick a bully in the back of the head. Eh. There we go. Don't look at me. <laughs> Otherwise you might get a, a Bucket to the lips. Okay, calm down there, Harry Potter. <laughs> Keep playing, Sam. You got this. Everything is under control. Hey, 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 calm, calm down. Calm down, oh, you little freaks. Come on. I need you all to remain calm and return to your seats, please. 
<laughs> Education will continue as soon as you can set down your bucket. Jesus Christ, they fly. I really like that. There's so much more force behind the hits because they're small. Oh, oh, come on. Wait, you're only gonna give me a couple of bullets? God, teachers never get the salaries they deserve. I apparently did get a box of cigars though. That's pretty sweet. Can I maybe get this mouse? It looks like it's a taser, but I can't. No, no, mm, I'm getting stuck on everything. Okay, there's gotta be something here that can help me educate these people. Come on, anything? I'm just gonna have to use buckets. I don't wanna use buckets, but because they don't work. Oh my God, this is too good to be true. Yes. Oh, I can I can feel their brains growing. Or, or maybe I could just feel their brains. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I feel like this is a great educational experience. It's not every day you get uppercutted into a smear on the ceiling. That was an interesting noise. They give Berserk some kind of weird background music now? I hadn't heard that before. How are things going? I still got the groundskeeper up and running. Jesus, I'm sorry. Ow, come on, who stabbed me in the butt? I can normally only get through three levels in a video, but I really wanted to check out this one. So the last level for today is gonna be called Mechanical Menace. I'm not seeing any kind of mechanical menaces right now, but I wouldn't mind arming myself just in case. I got a taser, and that's about it. Maybe there's somebody in here that I should introduce myself to? Hello, okay. Um, you can sit down, and you can sit down, you not sure about. Holy crap, that's a big Terminator. Shock him in the taint. Oh, taint shot, taint, mm, that's a problem. How exactly am I gonna deal with your friend? He's huge! Okay, I can, I can keep tasing him maybe. I don't know if tasing does a lot of damage in this game. That's a thing, usually it just kind of makes them crap themselves and pass out, but not so much the case, especially when crapping himself may very well drown me. Oh, willing to bet this would do quite a bit of work to your knee, or not. Crap, help, 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 help. Why is this not working? <laughs> Come on! Okay then. Why don't we try a little something bigger? A little something like this. Again, not really getting there. Oh. I can strip off quite a bit more flesh. Okay. You just kind of spread the damage out. If you can hit them in the stomach and the knees and the chest, eventually they'll just die from liquid loss. Right? Some kind of weird robot. I doubt it'd be blood. Again, another short level, but a very interesting one because of all these new mechanics. I can't wait to see what else people are making. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, you guys. Please continue to recommend levels to me because it's like I said, I miss a lot of them. There are a lot of them out there and I often forget which ones I have played and which ones I haven't played, but this entire video was because of you guys and I already have enough for another video. So if you guys wanna see another soon, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know and I'll return to see what other kind of giant monstrosities I can run from in the dark. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.